Living enthusiastically for God. Salt is worthless if it loses its saltiness. It can't season anything. So don't lose your flavor. Mark chapter 9 verse 50. Columbus was called mad because he decided to sail the uncharted ocean. Martin Luther was called mad because he presumed to defy the entrenched religious hierarchy of his time. Patrick Henry was considered mad when he cried, give me liberty, or give me death. George Washington was thought to be mad when he decided to continue the war after the winter at Valley Forge. When thousands of his men had died and other thousands had deserted, leaving him only a handful of men. We have become too sophisticated and respectable to be called mad in our generation. Christianity has become so respectable and so conventional that it is now insipid. The salt has lost its flavor would be God that the world found us Christians dangerous enough to call us mad, in these days when materialism and secularism are sweeping over the world. Thank God there are those who sacrifice time, talents, social position, and lucrative posts, and who fling aside every advantage in order to serve the kingdom of God. Prayer for the day. Instill in me, Lord Jesus, the same savor that the disciples showed as they lived so enthusiastically for you.